What's going down, y'all? One half of the Wake Up Crew here on this Sunday, October the 2nd, to talk some NFL prop plays for week four of the NFL season over on Prize Picks. As always, take what you like, leave what you don't like. All I ask is that you do is hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, like the content, comment below, let us know who you're targeting today. Over on Prize Picks, use the promo code Wake Up for a free $100 if you're a new user to Prize Picks. But uh, let's get into the board. I've got four plays that I want to talk about, and we're going to start with Daniel Carlson, the kicker for the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Denver Broncos. More than one and a half field goals made. He's hit this in six straight games. The opportunity is there. The Raiders can move the ball. They just have trouble converting inside the red zone versus a tough Denver Broncos defense. Uh, you know, they haven't been playing well either. So if you want to look at McManus or the, uh, on the Denver side of the ball, he's also in play. But Carlson, honestly, outside of Justin Tucker, maybe the best kicker in the NFL. He can boom it in from 50. So he's got all kinds of opportunity to knock in two field goals. I like him today. Daniel Carlson, more than one and a half field goals. Now let's get into some receiving props that I like. And I want to go with CeeDee Lamb. Um, instead of taking the receptions at five, give me the targets at seven and a half. All I'm banking on is opportunity for CeeDee Lamb. He doesn't even need to convert. You look at what CeeDee's done this season. This is ridiculous. The snap share is almost 100% snap share. He's getting about, he's over 30 routes run per game. And he's hit this target number in three straight, 11, 11, and 12. And it doesn't matter if it's Dak Prescott or Cooper Rush with nobody else on the field to command targets. CeeDee Lamb is the guy. He's going to be targeted early and often. Doesn't even need to convert. Just need the opportunity. CeeDee Lamb, more than seven and a half targets. Another player that I like for some target props is Mark Andrews versus the Buffalo Bills, who should score the ball, at least move the ball quite often on this shaky Baltimore defense. Mark Andrews is the number one target for Lamar Jackson. And when you see his number here at eight, the snap share for tight end, again, like CeeDee Lamb, over 85% per week. The routes are there, about 27 routes run per game. And when he's running those routes, he's hit this number in two straight games. The only game he didn't get it, it was in week one versus the Jets. But again, Bill's coming off of that bad loss, uh, heartbreaking loss where they played a lot versus Miami. Probably want to get on track this week. And it's the battle of the top three guys in NFL MVP, Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. Mark Andrews playing like the best tight end in football. Give me more than eight receiving targets for the Mandrews. Mark Andrews, love it today. Another player who got involved early last week with Sammy Watkins being out, with Alan Lazard a little bit banged up, Romeo Dubs. Romeo Dobbs. I think it's Dobbs. Romeo Dobbs from the Green Bay Packers. More than five receiving targets. Absolutely love it. He got involved in the action. They schemed him open. It was not fluky. It wasn't at the end of the game. He wasn't getting garbage time run. He was actually being schemed open by Matt LaFleur and that coaching staff. You see the snap share jumped to almost 90%, 34 routes, eight targets, eight receptions. And again, it was how they were using him, getting the ball in his hands early and often. Romeo Dubs really liked this number of five and it could be one of the last few weeks we see it this low, sort of a la Chris Olave, who's sitting at eight and a half right now, game that's about to kick off really soon. Just a couple of other players that I just want to throw out there that I really like, and they're not core players, they're not recommended plays, so you know if they don't hit, don't come back cussing me out. But Kristen Kirk, uh, six and a half receiving targets, I believe his uh, reception total is juiced to the over at five and a half on sports books. So Christian Kirk, more than six and a half receiving targets, I will be playing him on some slips, no doubt about it. Devontae Smith, his receptions at four. He's been balling the past two weeks after that stinker versus Detroit in the opening game. They are getting the ball. Again, he is a big part of this offense. 100% route participation, number one in the NFL, is Devontae Smith. Seven and eight over his last two games. I'm running Devontae Smith on a couple of tickets. So Christian Kirk, Devontae Smith, the only two additional players that I want to talk about. I think you can play both of those guys along with these four with confidence. Don't just throw it out there in one ticket. Damn, mix and match your plays, y'all. That's the best way to work with prize picks is mix and match. So the core four for me, Daniel Carlson, more than one and a half field goals made. CeeDee Lamb, more than seven and a half targets. Andrews, more than eight targets. And Romeo Dobbs, more than five targets in the matchup versus the New England Patriots. 
That's what I like today, and I would rank them that way. Carlson, CD, Andrews, and Dobbs, if anybody's wondering how I would rank them. Appreciate you tapping in. Want to get you in and out and not play around. Those are the plays that I'm looking at. Those are the plays that I'm taking over on Prize Picks. Use the promo code WAKEUP for $100 free dollars if you're a first-time user. Again, take what you like, leave what you don't like. We don't make you pay for picks. All I do is that you ask is to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, like the content, comment below. Let me know some additional plays that you're looking at. And I, I encourage you all, if you want to know which board has the most players available, and if you spend some time diving through it and really identifying the edge, it's the receiving target plays. They've got so many players on there for targets, and you don't have to bet on the outcome. You just need to bet on the opportunity. Look at the snap share. Look at the route participation. Bet on those guys, right? The Christian Kirks, the CD Lambs. I don't even care if you dropped the ball like CD did on Monday night. Got thrown the ball. That was a target. That counts. That helps us get closer to cashing out. As always, if you tail, give prize picks hell. And if we fail, don't bail. We'll be back with Monday Night Football Plays tomorrow on the channel. I appreciate y'all tapping in. Good luck and enjoy.